Ahoy sailors, hope your voyage has been well. Today we're looking at a One Piece Film Edition starter deck, otherwise known as ST05. And as per usual, this box is very big, but let's go over the artwork real quickly. We got Uda and Shanks on the front, of course, from the most recent film. We got Shiki, Bullet, Gildo, I believe, or Tassaro. I, I don't know which one's his first name. I've only seen the movie once. And then we got Z over here. But yeah, this is the film deck. Now, if we look at the back, we got some spoilers. Close your eyes if you don't want to see those. But yeah, we're going to get into these. Personally, not a big fan of the One Piece movies, but a, a couple of them are cool in my eyes. Like, I, I, I think with One Piece, the thing is like, it takes a lot of time to tell a really good story. And it's really hard to do that in a movie, so I guess props for actually making all right movies, you know, the two hour time period or less that they generally are. But this isn't about the movies, I mean, it kind of is. But yeah, we get the playmat right here. This is about the cards, which we're going to be looking at a little differently today. Because first we're going to go through them all, and then I'm going to read out the card effects, see what they do, see what's good, see what's bad. And yeah. So of course, right at the front here, we got ourselves 10 Dawn cards. Okay, so we got Dawn times 10. And then, ooh, okay, the leader card was Shanks. Nice, nice. Purple Shanks, let's go. All right, or, oh, I was gonna read that, but that's a pretty cool leader card. And then behind him, we got Uta, who looks pretty good. Like, yeah, not bad. Princess Uta, I mean. My apologies. <laughs> you get Bullet from, uh, what's that movie called again? Stampede. It didn't have film in the name. Let's put that. We got Ayn, who is uh, part of Z's army, I believe. And I don't remember who this is, but she's someone. You got K K Karina, who is um, in Gildo Tassaro's. Not crew, but you know, maybe crew? I, I can't remember. And of course, Gildo Tesaro. Or Guild Tesaro? Okay, that must be his English name. Cool, cool. We got Gordon, no way. A 1 3000 in purple? That's cool. I don't know if he's as good as the Red Gordon. But <laughs> nice to see purple get some early cards. We got Shiki at 2. And we got Scarlet. Let go of Robin, you. Oh, and here's Z himself. Zephyr. We got Baccarat. Four. Bins. Wait, what, what was her stats? Yeah, she's a 3,000. You know, that's not bad. Like, Purple could have used a couple more early game cards, I guess. But, like, probably not usable, because... Probably just want to survive till you get your late game out, but it's nice to see them getting low costs. We got bins. Buena Festa. Also at four. Mr. Indigo. At four. Lions Threat Imperial Earthbind. And Union Armada at four. And that does it for the deck. But now we're gonna go through every card. And read what they do. And, yeah, I know that's kind of weird, but I've been going to locals lately and I've been having some fun. So I, I kind of get the game a bit, but yeah, let's look at Shanks here. Dawn minus three, you may return the specified number. Or wait, what am I saying? Yeah, Dawn minus three, all of your film type characters gain 2000 power during this turn. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. No, well, that's good. But it's cool. Definitely good with the uh, zoo type of cards. And we got Uta, who is a blocker, has a 1,000 counter, and uh, Dawn minus one, rest up to one of your opponent's characters at a cost of five or less. I'd say this is this is a good card, four or five thousand. Yeah, this is definitely a good card. We got Bullet, who has uh, Dawn minus four, once per turn on the main. Rest up to two of your opponent's characters with a cost of six or less. 
Then this character gains double attack during this turn. Why does my camera keep focusing? It's so weird. Maybe. Alright, so double attack. I mean, that's really... I mean, it's not a bad effect. He's an 8 for 1,000. But, like, the thing is... Double attack doesn't really work on rested characters. Like, if you rest your opponent's characters, you're going to want to go for face of this guy. Er, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of weird. Don't really fit together, but good card nonetheless. And we got Ein, who adds... What is happening? I think I cracked my screen. I mean, my camera. <clears throat> Alright, we got Ein. Add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it on play. That's okay. It's a ramp card. Four cost, though. A little mid-game. Purple can always use more ramp cards, so I guess she ain't a bad card. And Anne is just a 2-3,000 blocker. Alright. Karina. Uh, once per turn on main. You may rest her and trash one film card. And if they have more Dawn cards on the field than you, add two Dawn from your Dawn deck and rest them. Uh, I'm... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess this isn't a bad card. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting most of these cards to be, like, super usable. Purple doesn't have a ton of space, but they could be usable in the future. All right, so this guy has Dawn minus two when attacking. Draw two cards. Okay, okay, so some draw power. That's interesting. Interesting. And then we got the Vanilla Gordon. He's a 1,000 counter. Oh, yeah, this Gobo. No, he doesn't have a counter. We got Shiki. If you have eight or more Dawn cards on your field, this character cannot be KO'd in battle. Uh, that's... it's cool. I mean, this guy... this could work in a King deck, I guess. But yeah. This could definitely work in a King deck. Same with, um... Yeah, you, you get him going with, uh, what's that dude's name? Kyoshiro? And boom. I mean, I don't think King is good still, but... Definitely a buff for King, which is something that was needed. We got Scarlet, who's a 1,000 counter, vanilla, or not vanilla, but has a trigger to play it. Which is, I don't know about any of these cards that have triggers to play them, they don't seem very good. Maybe they have vanilla stat baseline. And then we got Zephyr. When this character battles, strike attribute type characters, this character gains 3,000 attack during uh, this turn. And once per turn on your main, you can minus one Dawn, and he gains 2,000 power during this turn. All right, Zephyr. He doesn't seem bad. I mean, there's a lot of vanillas in here, surprisingly. Baccarat. I don't remember if these decks had a lot of uh, vanillas, but whatever. All right, we got... Yeah, she's just a 1,000 counter. Bins is also a 1,000 counter. Okay, Buena Fista. F finally, a 2,000 counter. Had to be at least one here, right? Alright, on play, look at the top five cards from your deck. Reveal up to one film type character other than Buena Festa and add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. I mean, this is this is a good card. I mean, even if he doesn't really have good support, like it'll always be a good card because he's a searcher, and that's what matters. And Mr. Indigo, another vanilla. So another one that's most likely to skip, but he's a 2 for 4k, so he has that going for him. The I mean, 1000 counter doesn't really matter much. But when you have these stat baselines, that's probably all you're going to be using him as in the late game. And then we got Lion's Threat Imperial Earthbind. Main Dawn minus 2. You may return a specified number of Dawn cards from your field to your Dawn deck. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 5 or less. Hmm. I don't know. Purple has so much removal already. I don't see this being good. But then again, it's only three cost. It's cheaper than Kings. So it has that going for it. And then we got Union Armada. This should be a pretty deadly card. Up to one of your film type leader or characters gains plus 4,000 during this battle. If, this, if that card is a character, that character cannot be KO'd during this. Whoa! Hello there. Okay. We got another good card. 
and its trigger is add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. Hmm. All right, uh, I'll admit this is probably one of the better counters in the game. It's like not being able to be KO'd. I mean, with these cards though, like keeping them alive doesn't do a lot, but anyway, definitely not a bad deck. Had a lot of cards that intrigued me at the least. Maybe not as good as the Red deck. Or, I mean, yeah, all the other decks had decent cards in them. So that's one of the things that's cool about this game. But yeah, that does it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. If uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.